For many years following their 1949 wedding, John LeMessurier and Hattie Jack were happily married. This was before either celebrity became famous, with John later becoming known for such roles as the character of Sergeant Arthur Wilson on the television show Dad's Army and Hattie becoming known for her various roles in the Carry On series of films. Sadly, the marriage wasn't meant to last. Join Facts First as we explore how cheating on John LeMessurier drove Hattie Jack off the rails. John the Measurer and Hattie Jack seemed to be happy. In the late 1940s, aspiring stars John the Measurer and Hattie Jack met and fell in love. John was going through the process of divorcing his first wife, and neither he nor Hattie had achieved the fame they would go on to later in their careers. John swept Hattie off of her feet, and the two tied the knot in 1949. Though John didn't receive his iconic role in Dad's Army until after their divorce, he started appearing prominently on television during the 50s and had quite the career by the time the 60s came around. Meanwhile, Hattie began appearing in the Carry On series during the 1950s, making her a star. After a decade of being together, it seemed that John and Hattie might end up spending the rest of their lives in blissful matrimony. But in 1962, Hattie met a man named John Schofield. Some say the two met after Schofield wrote to Hattie, asking her to partake in a leukemia fundraiser. Schofield was quite the attractive and driven man, and he was around seven years younger than Hattie. Like Hattie, John Schofield was married at the time when they met, but the two quickly fell in love. Schofield's wife was a woman named Brenda, and they had a son together. The son was suffering from cancer, which was causing a strain in the relationship. Schofield didn't want to spend time taking care of the kid and preferred partying. Brenda eventually decided that she didn't want to deal with it anymore, though she strangely retained an amicable relationship with Schofield after the divorce. It's been said that Brenda would even bring the sick son to visit Schofield and Hattie when the latter two were together. John tried to make things work with his second wife. Though Hattie and Schofield lived together for around five years, following Hattie and John LeMessurier's 1965 divorce, they actually began living together several years before that. According to the late John, he and his wife kept a relatively open household. Both John and Hattie had friends over all the time, and it wasn't all that uncommon for one of these friends to stay over for a period of days, weeks, or even months. This made it easy for Hattie to have Schofield around for a significant period of time without John becoming suspicious. But John eventually realized what was going on and was faced with a decision. Not wanting to let Hattie get away, the man decided to let Schofield keep living with them. John and Hattie had two children, and these children were certainly a big part of what made John not want to give up his second marriage so easily. Unlike Schofield, John was a good father who wanted to be there for his kids. John was said to have first realized that his wife was cheating after the filming of the 1964 Walt Disney film, The Moon Spinners, ended. The movie was filmed on location on the Greek island of Crete. John returned from the trip to find that Schofield was not only still present at his home, but had seemingly set up permanent residency. It was only then, after a period of roughly a year, that John was able to stomach the odd domestic situation of being the least favorite of his wife's two husbands. John eventually asked for a divorce, and his and Hattie's marriage ended in 1965. Both celebrities went on to spend the remainder of their years in relative misery before passing away in the 1980s. For Hattie, much of this misery came as a result of her continuing relationship with Schofield. John's most iconic role came after the divorce. A couple years after divorcing from Hattie, John received the role that turned him into a household name. That, of course, would be the role of Sergeant Arthur Wilson on Dad's Army. Though he won the heart of audiences across the UK thanks to his time on the show, he was in a state of perpetual misery during its filming. By the time he started playing the character of Wilson, he'd become a full-blown functioning alcoholic as the result of his relatively tragic personal life. During the time John was trying to make things work as a third wheel with Hattie and Schofield, Hattie decided that introducing her husband to a new lover of his own might help ease tensions. This is how John met the woman who went on to become his third wife. Hattie introduced her husband to an actress named Joan Mallon. Soon, John was living with Joan in her apartment, and he was finally ready to move on from Hattie. After divorcing Hattie in 1965, he married Joan in 66. Despite some turbulence early on in their marriage, when it seemed as if Joan was going to pull a Hattie and leave John for another man, the two remained happily married until the actor's death in 1983. 
Once John and Hattie made the relatively amicable decision to end their marriage, John made the chivalrous choice to publicly declare it was he who had committed adultery instead of his wife. John's reason for doing so was that he felt the public might have a more negative view of a female committing adultery than a male. Given that this was the 60s, this was most likely true. John's career remained unscathed as he went on to receive the most iconic role of his career in 1968. Though Hattie's career was affected by any scandal as a result of the divorce, she ended up finding ill fortune in her life for other reasons. Hattie and Schofield stayed together for several years. Once Hattie and Schofield made their relationship public, things started turning sour between them. Though the two lived together for five years after Hattie and John's divorce, it doesn't seem like these were very happy years. Schofield began to instigate extramarital affairs with a number of Hattie's female friends. All the while, he was becoming increasingly aggressive towards Hattie to the point of abuse. Before their five years of living together was over, things reached a boiling point between the two when Schofield punched Hattie and left her with a black eye. Numerous people witnessed Hattie's black eye, including ex-husband John. John alleges he visited Hattie in the hospital when she was receiving treatment for the injury. Another man who claimed to have seen Hattie's black eye was a restaurateur named Bruce Kopp. Bruce claimed, until his recent death, that his and Hattie's close friendship was actually the reason Schofield had raised his hand to the actress. In 1966, Hattie and Schofield got into a public row while the prior figure was working on the set of the film The Bobo, which was a Peter Sellers vehicle that saw release the following year. During the fight, Schofield pronounced to Hattie he'd fallen in love with another woman. The film was being shot in Rome. When Hattie returned from Rome to England, she had to be admitted into the hospital as a result of a kidney infection. While she was in the hospital, Schofield visited her and returned a precious gold heirloom she had given him as a sign of commitment. He also allegedly threw it onto her hospital bed as the actress lay there sobbing. Both John and Hattie passed away during the 1980s. Hattie was always a bit too heavy. While this helped make her a reliable comedic presence on screen, it also made her incredibly insecure in her personal life. She was said to have required massive amounts of affection, which is how Schofield seduced her. The actress never remarried after divorcing from John. In 1980, she passed away from a heart attack. She was only 58. Though John passed away only a few years later, he was quite a bit older at the time of his death, due to the fact that he was about a decade Hattie's senior. He passed away from a hemorrhage in 1983 after years of decreasing health due to his alcoholism. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that John LeMessurier and Hattie Jacques took a third lover into their marriage? Let us know in the comments section below.